picture 16. Jesus did many wonderful things, and many people followed him. Jesus was kind, healed the sick, and taught God's way. Jesus was good. Jesus did not sin. Jesus always did what God wanted him to do. He came to show us God's love and to win people back to follow God and to walk in God's ways. But there were influential religious leaders who were very jealous of Jesus. They did not want to admit that they had broken God's law and were sinners like the rest of the people. Their hearts were hard and they did not want to believe that Jesus was sent from God. They told lies about Jesus and had him arrested. He was beaten. Soldiers placed a crown of thorns on his head and mocked him. Jesus could not could have resisted this and stopped them, but he did not resist. He had come to the world to become a sacrifice for sin. His life was going to be sacrificed for the sins of all people. Jesus was taking upon himself the punishment that the people deserved. Picture 17 The soldiers nailed Jesus to a wooden cross. Then they stood the cross upright in the ground, and Jesus hung there until he died. In those days, it was the custom to kill the worst criminals in this cruel way. Two criminals were also put on crosses that day, but Jesus was not a criminal. He was innocent. He had done no wrong. That day he was dying for the other people's sins, not his own. He was dying for the sins of the people who were alive then, but also for the sins of people who would come later. His death takes away the sins of all who want to turn from their sinful ways and accept his sacrifice as their own sacrifice. When Jesus died, he made the perfect sacrifice. He paid for the sins of all people with his sinless blood. God has said that all other sacrifice is no longer necessary because Jesus made the perfect sacrifice. Picture 18 the enemies of Jesus thought that they had destroyed him, but this was not so. After Jesus died on that cross, a wealthy friend put the body of Jesus into his own new burial cave. They closed the entrance of the cave with a large stone. On the third day, early in the morning, some women came to the cave to perform the proper burial customs. They were surprised to find the stone rolled away and Jesus was not there. They were even more surprised to see two angels who told them that Jesus was alive. These messengers from God told them very clearly that Jesus had risen from the dead. Picture 19 after Jesus rose from the dead, he began to visit some of his disciples. He talked with them and ate with them. Thomas, one of his disciples, heard of this and could not believe that Jesus was alive again. He said, Until I see his nail wounds and touch him, I will not believe. Jesus came to this group again, this time when Thomas was there. Jesus spoke directly to Thomas and Thomas fell down on his knees before him, believing. Jesus said, You believe me because you see me. Blessed are those who do not see me, and yet believe. Picture 20 For forty days after Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to people. Many people saw him 
and knew that he was alive. Now it was time for Jesus to go back to heaven. He had finished the work that he had come to do. Jesus told his followers that they were to go out and tell everyone, everywhere, what he had done. Then, as many of his followers watched, Jesus rose off the ground and went higher and higher until he went into a cloud and disappeared from their sight. Two angels told the disciples that Jesus would one day return in the same way that he left. Jesus is now in heaven, preparing a place for all those who believe in him and follow Jesus. Jesus made the way for us to come to God. Picture 21 Why did Jesus die on the cross? Jesus died to save sinners from the punishment of sin. Jesus never sinned. He died to take away the sin that separates us from God. The cross reminds us that Jesus was the spotless, holy, sinless and pure Lamb of God. He was sacrificed for us. When we believe in Jesus and repent, that means turn from our sin, God forgives our sins and Jesus makes us God's children and his friends. Picture 22 When Jesus was alive, he told many stories to help the people understand God's ways. He taught that there were two roads. Everyone starts out on the wide one of sin that leads to destruction and punishment. We all have a sinful nature that we inherited from Adam, the first man. We have sinned by doing things that are displeasing to God. Jesus said that we should leave the wide road and enter the narrow road that leads to God in heaven. We can only enter the narrow road through Jesus. We enter it by repenting of our sins and accepting that the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross was for our sins. Why not speak to him now from your heart? Say to him, God, you are great and holy, but I confess to you that I have sinned. I believe that Jesus died on the cross to pay for my sin. Please forgive me, clean my heart, and make me one of your children. I want to follow the way of Jesus and come to live with you when I die. Thank you, Father. Amen. Music